this week on Long Shot TV. Just got the boat launched, getting ready to head out uh, Little River Inlet here. We're hoping for an exciting day to catch some big black tips and spinner sharks. Now we're working a mud ball right now. Got him on, got him on. Let's go, let's go. Come on, there you go. Got him on. Going back in. Hey guys, we just hooked up with, with our second fish of the day. This is a, a small hammerhead. All right, I'm back to the leader. We got a nice tiger shark going right here. Well, good tiger right there, boy. Go, go, turn! Chris thought the tiger shark was done, and uh, he kicked in overdrive and pulled Chris all the way to the back of the boat. Nice 10 foot tiger shark. Today's episode of Long Shot TV is presented by Judd Coon Chevrolet and Tailwalker Marine. Just cleared the Little River jetties and uh, we just cut outside the rocks and seen some birds working down the beach, some pelicans diving. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard today to find bait because we have a, literally a slick ocean. We got some pelicans working up ahead of us here, so we're just going to run along down the side of the beach and anywhere from 10 to 15 feet of water. And as soon as we see these birds diving, or today, you should be able to see a big old mud ball on top of the water as clear as it is since the wind's out the north. So uh, stay with us. Let's see when we get this bait rounded up. Pelican working a mud ball right now. I gotta get the net loaded. And I can, I can run the boat if okay. you want to get the net. The wind's out the uh, north, northeast. So if we on this side, uh, go around that side of it, on the shallow side, and I'll throw like offshore. That's perfect, Adam. Just creep right up on it. Is it full? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're good then. Are you in neutral? Hey, I'm now. Huh? Bump it forward a little bit. We got him. Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can dump on the floor. We just need about 20 fast bait. Hey, Roy, Pelican's getting ready to bomb. Oh, look at the Coast Guard plane. Well, we just got done filling up all the bait wheel tanks here on the long shop. Um, with some fresh pogies getting ready to go shark fishing. A lot of sharks um, work uh, in and out behind the shrimp boats because it actually pulls up a lot of bait and everything uh, up off the bottom. We're getting ready to head to this shrimp boat right here. The reason why the, that shrimp boat is dragging and it's turning the bottom up, it's just rolling the bottom and uh, the sharks are behind the nets feeding and they can they pick up good on sound like when you throw a rig up in the water and the bait smacks the water, right. them sharks tune in on it. Same thing that shrimp boat, they know that shrimp boat's dragging 
and when the guy's hauling nets back, all this bait will come up. It's like a smorgasbord for sharks. They'll be right there chomping behind the nets. We're gonna roll it behind it, throw a long line out, and then once we drift off over 100 yards or so, we're gonna feed the other two lines out. Right. And I think before the first line gets tight today with this ocean being this pretty, we're gonna have a, a black tip on. So pretty much, uh, it, when we get behind that boat, it's already chummed up full. So when we get, you, you, couldn't ask, you couldn't ask for a better place to fish behind that shrimp boat. That's like going to a buffet line and feeding all of us. <laughs> All right, you want to sink, Chris? Yes, yeah, Scott, I'm right here in front of the shrimp boat. Yeah, Roger, is this shrimp boat? Yeah, I'm right here off the, uh, the, the private pier, right here off Cherry Grove. Well, we just stopped and got some bait from a, um, a friend of, of Wade's, uh, some croakers, and uh, Adam actually got one of the croakers on. And the reason why the croakers are, are actually the better bait is because they actually emit a certain sound. And so, uh, hopefully, with that sound, we'll attract the sharks. And here's Adam, got him on, got him on. Let him go, let him go. Pump it, there you go, get him on. This segment of Longshot TV is brought to you in part by Judd Coon Chevrolet. If you want the baddest truck on and off the road and quality matters to you like me, Judd Coon Chevrolet and Rocky Ridge Custom Trucks team up to bring you America's best lift truck. Rocky Ridge customizes new truck with direct shipping from GM. Best of all, your factory GM warranty is still good with Rocky Ridge Upfits. Rocky Ridge builds the biggest, baddest truck in America. Judd Coon Chevrolet is the outdoorsman's first choice for trucks. Let Rocky Ridge and Judd Coon Chevy help you find new roads off-road. So totally free checking is completely free? Yes, sir. Right. Next you'll tell me there's free online banking. Actually, there is. Free online bill pay? Mm-hmm. There's no way there's a free debit card in this deal. Check. Yeah, check. Like, free first order of checks? All included. What? And a free gift? And a free gift. Come in today and sign up for Crestcom's totally free checking. Stop by any of our convenient locations. I'm on candid camera, right? You can find some of the best fishing right off the coast of the Carolinas. The Voyager fleet of boats is your one-stop shop for deep sea fishing and dolphin cruises. They are conveniently located in North Myrtle Beach and have five different vessels ranging from 44 to 100 feet. The Voyager team offers different trips to fit most any budget. Find them on the web at supervoyagerdeepseafishing.com or call them direct at 843-626-4900. Call today to book your trip. Are you ready to experience the water? Tailwalker Marine can get you there fast with their inventory of new and used boats. They offer financing for your new Cobia, Sportsman, War Eagle, Yellowfin, and more. Tailwalker is a factory-trained five-star gold Yamaha dealer who offers custom rigging and mobile services. Come visit their tackle shop for your inshore and offshore accessories and apparel. They're conveniently located in Georgetown, and you can visit them online at tailwalkermarine.com. At Tailwalker Marine, they don't just sell a lifestyle, they live it. Before the break on Long Shot TV. Just got the boat launched, getting ready to head out uh, Little River Inlet here. We're hoping for an exciting day to catch some big black tips and spinner sharks. Telling you, working a mud ball right now. Hopefully, with that sound, we'll attract the sharks and hear shorts. Got him on, got him on. Let him go, let him go. Pump it, there you go, get him on. Got him on right here, got him on right here. I'm clearing the line. Clear it out. There you go, Adam, let him do his thing. He's getting ready to jump, so stay out. This is a black tip. He'll be up about water. Adam, take to the front of the boat. Walk to the front of the boat. We got a bunch of pogies uh, with cast net earlier this morning, but we just had one of Wade's buddies drop by and he gave us a bag full of croakers. Now I got one on this line here. We've got a three hook set up. And 
So I've got two pogies and one croaker. And this line wasn't wet five minutes, and he hit it. Get him on board, get the hooks out of his mouth, and let him right back in. Grab the pliers out my bag back here if you don't mind. This way. There you go. We got to get some lines back out so we can get on a few more. Hopefully, we'll get a bigger one. Adam, you didn't get the line set on that. You're still feeding it out. Oh, so yeah, I know. Take off. I know. It wasn't wet five minutes. Going back in. Sure enough, we put the lines back out again, and we're not far off from the shrimp boat. Big star, big star. So we just hooked up with, with our second fish of the day. This is a small hammerhead. It's about four, uh, four feet long. He uh, hooked um, right on one of the pogies, and uh, it was a it was a pretty much of a battle all the way to the end. Just let him in the water. We're shark fishing on the beach today in shore. Uh, caught a couple, and it like when the tide switched, it died off, got really slow, so we decided to try something different. Adam makes a call, well, let's go try to catch that big old tiger you're talking about. We just made about a seven mile run offshore here uh, to a Civil War wreck called the General Sherman. This wreck usually holds a lot of bait fish, and usually three or four big tiger sharks are on it, so we're going to roll the dice and see if we can get a big tiger to bite the hook today. These pogies are real oily fish here, and I just like kind of twist them up and throw them overboard, and it gets like an oil slick on the water. Hopefully, chum a big old tiger shark up. Finally, off the stern of the boat, we see these fins come up, and he's just circling back there behind the balloons. He's working in pogies. That's pretty cool, isn't come on. it? He surfaced again, grabbed her bait, and uh, he had it, but he, the shark didn't realize he was hooked because we free spooled the rod. Going, okay, going. wind it up, wind it up, wind it up, wind it up, wind it up. Get your belt, hurry, hurry, get your belt. Just walk to the bow. Wind hard as you can. We all are ecstatic on the boat. We finally done it. This is gonna be one awesome show if we can just land this big guy and get him beside the boat to take some pictures and let him go. Okay. So Chris is up there on the bow and uh, he can only put so much heat on his shark because, like I said, we only have 100 pound test wire. I don't want to break them off in very short leaders. Let me check right here. See, I don't want to put no more, it's a lot of pressure. This is a big fish. Because we only got 100 pound, I ain't worried about that line breaking. Just crank down on him. We need to get the line straight. Wine, wine, straight up and down. We got him up to the boat two or three different times. I fought him for, uh, the first time for about 35 to 40 minutes. Then I, I, I gave the rod over to uh, Adam. Check this right here. A little handful in. All right, I'm back to the leader. This segment of Longshot TV is brought to you in part by Tailwalker Marine. Spectrum Paint is the Grand Strands paint source for paint contractors, property owners, and do-it-yourselfers. Consistent growth over the past three decades is a testament to our commitment to be a leading supplier of architectural, commercial, and industrial coatings, including Benjamin Moore Paints. We are the largest independent paint company in the nation and have 14 locations in the coastal Carolinas. Give us a call, look us up on the web, or drop by one of our many locations, and let's knock out your next paint project. One of the downsides of owning your own business here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, is the odds are stacked against me. I know, it's only a matter of time before disaster strikes again. That's the reason why I trust Tillman Insurance Agency. Tillman Insurance is located at 905 2nd Avenue North here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Check out the number below for any of your auto, home, business, life insurance needs. It's so hot, our 
Greasy went down, but who to call in this beach town? That cool mascot, but what's the name? What would the penguin say? Atlantic heating and cooling. Atlantic heating and cooling. That's what the penguin says! Call now for amazing carrier lease purchase financing. No credit check needed. Carrier, turn to the experts. Atlantic heating and cooling. Be cool, y'all. So totally free checking is completely free? Yes, sir. Right. Next you'll tell me there's free online banking. Actually, there is. Free online bill pay? Mm-hmm. There's no way there's a free debit card in this deal. Check. Yeah, check. Like, free first order of checks? All included. What? And a free gift? And a free gift. Come in today and sign up for Crestcom's totally free checking. Stop by any of our convenient locations. I'm on candid camera, right? You can find some of the best fishing right off the coast of the Carolinas. The Voyager fleet of boats is your one-stop shop for deep sea fishing and dolphin cruises. They are conveniently located in North Myrtle Beach and have five different vessels ranging from 44 to 100 feet. The Voyager team offers different trips to fit most any budget. Find them on the web at supervoyagerdeepseafishing.com or call them direct at 843-626-4900. Call today to book your trip. Before the break on Long Shot TV. There you go. Let him do his thing. Going back in. As we just hooked up with, with our second fish of the day, this is a small hammerhead. It's about four, uh, four feet long. Finally, off the stern of the boat, we see these fins come up, and he's just circling back there behind the balloons. A little handful in. Hey Adam, when he decides to go, don't fight against him, just kind of let him do his thing and we're good. You're doing perfect. Just that tackle with the test ring is borderline holding. I'm worried about the hook straightening out, not the line breaking. Yeah. Or that wire king. No. That right there will hold him. And uh Hopefully, uh, hopefully you get him. Big shark. Revert, uh, turn it that way, turn it that way. Turn the motor that way, Roy. It's, uh, it's definitely a, a large shark here. I've met my match for sure. We're, we're already three quarters of a mile off the wreck from where we hooked this big guy at. And uh, now it's time for Adam to take a little break. And uh, so I'm in the hot seat. We got a nice tiger shark on right here. Been fighting him for about 40 minutes. Chris is on him for about 20 and Adam was on him. And, uh, they give me the leftover, so the pressure's on me. If I let this fish go, I will never live it down. Well put, Tiger, right there, boys. Look at this. Chris, go to him. Chris, turn the boat, go to him. Go, go Chris. Get on him, get on him. So I'm about wore out now. I, I didn't want to admit it to the guys, but uh, this shark was about to whip me also. So I was calling in, I was calling for Chris to give me a hand. 42 minutes on this rescue. Wade had him to the surface. Maybe two feet under. He's over 10 foot. Monster. We may be here another 40 minutes. Yeah, he's 12 foot. Yeah. He was two. He was that wide across the head. He's two foot across his head. Good gracious. He has every bit of a 12 foot tiger shark. But, Adam, we're going to regroup. <laughs> we, we didn't we come know prepared. where to find him. Yeah, we didn't come prepared to catch a shark like that. We are coming black tip spinner fishing and it was slow. So we decided to come out and try to play with these tigers. And uh, we just didn't have the proper gear. But we'll regroup and we'll come back out. We will catch up with fish. Good job, guys. Oh, man. 
That was yeah, awesome. Man, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Man. Yeah. Oh, good gracious. I get a hold of Adam and Chris and say, guys, let's let's load up. We're going to the Sherman and we are going shark fishing. We just got our first bait out. I rigged a live pinfish up and uh, dropped him back here about 50 yards or so. We're trying to catch a jack or a uh, barracuda. There's your bait. I saw a nice barracuda right here. We're gonna rig him up, send him back out, and hopefully get a big old tiger shark. If this shark's here, he's gonna eat this bait, or we can the bus shot. I don't know, maybe 30 minutes went by, and I was steady chumming, and all of a sudden, uh, he hits it. He's got the bait in his mouth. Okay. Crank, crank, crank. Go to the bow, go to the bow, go to the bow. Shark right there. This segment of Longshot TV is brought to you in part by Tillman Insurance. Are you ready to experience the water? Tailwalker Marine can get you there fast with their inventory of new and used boats. They offer financing for your new Cobia, Sportsman, War Eagle, Yellowfin, and more. Tailwalker is a factory-trained five-star gold Yamaha dealer who offers custom rigging and mobile services. Come visit their tackle shop for your inshore and offshore accessories and apparel. They're conveniently located in Georgetown, and you can visit them online at tailwalkermarine.com. At Tailwalker Marine, they don't just sell a lifestyle, they live it. One of the downsides of owning your own business here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, is the odds are stacked against me. I know, it's only a matter of time before disaster strikes again. That's the reason why I trust Tillman Insurance Agency. Tillman Insurance is located at 905 2nd Avenue North here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Check out the number below for any of your auto, home, business, life insurance needs. It's so hot, our AC went down, but who to call in this beach town? That cool mascot, but what's the name? What would the penguin say? Atlantic heating and cooling, Atlantic heating and cooling, that's what the penguin says! Call now for amazing carrier lease purchase financing. No credit check needed. Carrier, turn to the experts. Atlantic heating and cooling. Be cool, y'all. If you want the baddest truck on and off the road and quality matters to you like me, Judd Coon Chevrolet and Rocky Ridge Custom Trucks team up to bring you America's best lift truck. Rocky Ridge customizes new truck with direct shipping from GM. Best of all, your factory GM warranty is still good with Rocky Ridge Upfits. Rocky Ridge builds the biggest, baddest truck in America. Judd Coon Chevrolet is the outdoorsman's first choice for trucks. Let Rocky Ridge and Judd Coon Chevy help you find new roads off-road before the break on long shot tv all right i'm back to the leader we got a nice tiger shark on right here been fighting for about 40 minutes well put tiger right there boys go go turn it oh, oh, God. we're coming black hip spinner fishing and it was slow so we decided to come out and try to play these tigers and uh, we just didn't have the proper gear that was a shark right there. We lost him, but it's definitely a big tiger shark. So we got the baits back out, just got hooked back on the anchor, and I uh, hope he bites one more time. But we threw the rig back over. I did not put a balloon on it. This shark came back and bit the baits again. And when he bit the baits again, we tightened up on him. What happened? The braid cut across the wreck and separated us from the shark. We used all our chum, we had no Boston mackerel, we had no barracudas. Only thing we had was a bunch of pinfish we jigged up. So I took a single hook and put like four to three, uh, three to four live pinfish on this hook. And uh, they were swimming around creating a lot of racket and back on a balloon rig and put it back out behind the boat. Wade has already told me that probably 
3, 3.30, he's going to have to be going in, heading in. So uh, time's counting down. You know, we've, we've struggled this whole week putting the show together and, and it looks like it's not going to happen again today. I'm already distracted, you know, putting stuff away on the boat, getting ready to pull the anchor and head to the house and thinking about, you know, we, we had our chance today. It, it was my fault. All of a sudden, Adams bring the last bait and he says, uh, wait, I, I think I got one. Every time a, a wave kind of hits the balloons, I feel a little tug, you know, I'm not for sure if it's, if it's the chop moving the bait around or if I've got something hitting it. Sure enough, we had this big tiger shark hooked up last minute of the day. him all day long. He's actually outwitted us two or three times with the long shot crew. Stuck with it and we got him. That was our barracuda. So we get him up to the boat again and uh, Adam managed to take the gaff hook and gets the old uh, gets the old hooks and barracuda off of him. So now we just got one hook in this shark and uh, he's still not ready to come to the boat yet. Chris thought this tiger shark was done and uh, he kicked in overdrive and pulled Chris all the way to the back of the boat. I hand lined the shark uh, all the way up beside the boat and uh, reached down as uh, close as I could to his mouth without getting my hand bit off and I cut the leader wire and off he goes. He just swam right off in the water. We finally ended up releasing this shark. What a great day, uh, what a great time that, that we've had. And it's, a, it's an honor to see a, a, such a magnificent animal like this tiger shark right here off the coast of South Carolina. Nice 10 foot tiger shark. Old Chris Kaiser put it on him. We were doubting ourselves. We hooked him twice a day. We managed to get our old rig out of him. We got the old hooks out of him, so it didn't hurt him. And uh, we are just about ready to give up. Only had three baits left on the boat, run out of time. That was an awesome fish. That's what we came for. That wasn't the big one we hooked the other day, but it was a really nice, respectable tiger shark. He was every bit of 10, uh, 10 feet long, just one heck of a fish. Put him in the Yeah. Thank you, man. Adam, Wade, Longshot crew, another outstanding job. Want to find out more about Longshot TV? Look us up on the following.